Are you considering moving to Daybreak? You don't want to miss this neighborhood tour. I am going to take you through actually my favorite neighborhood in Daybreak. So if you've been researching, you know there's lots of different villages in Daybreak. Today I am giving you a tour of the North Shore Village, so stay tuned. Hi, this is Melissa Ballman and I'm a real estate agent here in the greater Salt Lake City area. So what that means, if you're looking at making a real estate move, I'd love to connect with you. Shoot me a text, send me an email, do what you got to do, but get in touch with me. But first, today, I am going to kind of kick off a couple of week series, so you're going to want to make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you're alerted each week when I drop these videos. But I'm going to share with you different neighborhoods in South Jordan's Daybreak community, master planned community. And we often call them neighborhoods, Daybreak calls them villages. So the first one, like I said, is my favorite, and that is the North Shore Village that I'm gonna share with you today. I'm just gonna play video so you can really get a good idea of what this neighborhood is all about and kind of see it firsthand if you haven't been out there already. Now, I'll start with why this is my favorite neighborhood in Daybreak, and you'll see this throughout the video, but it's a nice neighborhood that is more established. So it's tree-lined, lots of trees, not overly big, but bigger than what you see in other newer parts of Daybreak. Um, the, the homeowners are very festive, lots of decorations in this neighborhood uh, preparing for Halloween next week. And the big thing for me is the houses, they don't feel cramped together. Now there are some small lots in the neighborhood that are about 0 0.10 acres, very similar to what you find in other areas of Daybreak, but I've seen them go up to 0.28 acres in this neighborhood. And even though they may be smaller lots, as you'll see in the video, they just, they're not crammed together where you feel like you could hand something out your kitchen window to your neighbor. So one thing that I wanna call out about the North Shore Village is it is kind of a higher elevated village. And if you live on the east side of it, you can have some amazing Salt Lake County Valley views and beautiful views of the mountains, as you'll see here in this video. And the lots are really good size along that road as well. So if you're looking for views, but you love daybreak, if you're lucky enough to find one on that east side, that would be a really good option. Now, the North Shore neighborhood is on the North Shore of the lake, Daybreak Lake, Ochre Lake. Um, and it's just on the north side of South Jordan Parkway. So you're very close to the Harmons in Daybreak. You're close to the lake, walking distance. And then on the north side of the village is going to be a huge park that is being built off of 102 South. And I've done a video a few months back on that park and see how massive it's gonna be. But then also in the North Shore Village, um, you're also gonna have six parks there. And those parks range from, maybe it's just a couple of swings to like a full play set. You have two community gardens, you have some basketball courts, you have some tennis courts. So still a lot of activities to do. And then of course, big open areas that there's nothing there but grass. So you still have a lot of activities and things to take advantage of in the North Shore Village. So as I mentioned, the neighborhood is more established. It's a little bit older than what you find in other parts of Daybreak. Most of the houses are single family homes, but you can still find townhouses and some condos in the North Shore Village. And most of them have been built, you know, between about 2008 to 2015. 
And then there was some new townhouses built recently in 2021 that were finished and even some that are currently under construction. And I'm not sure if those are townhouses or if they're going to be condos. But to kind of give you an idea of pricing, I'm gonna throw up this map that shows active and under contract homes and it's not filtered so it's single family homes townhouses and condos so you can see here as low as two hundred and sixty five thousand dollars that's for a small condo um, and they go up to 1.3 million dollars that's for a single family home and to give you an idea that house is almost 7700 square feet and it is on a larger lot that's 0.28 acres but you can see homes in here for in the 500s um, there's one under contract in yellow here that's 775 995 so you have a variety of options for price range and to kind of give you an idea recently sold in the last 60 days um, you know, there was a two bedroom condo that went for $375,000 and they just go up from there. Now, one thing driving through that area to be prepared for, and you know, you honestly, you find this a lot in daybreak anyways, but there are a lot of cars parked on the street in the North Shore Village. So um, if you have a really big vehicle or you tow a trailer, it can get pretty dicey. I mean, there were parts that I was driving through that in my Jeep, it was really tight because of cars on both sides of the street. Now, that's not throughout the whole village. It's just little parts here and there, but be aware of it. I hope you enjoyed my video today and the tour. Like I said, I'm going to be featuring different villages in daybreak the next couple of weeks. So make sure you click the bell so you're alerted when I drop those. If you have any real estate related questions, I'd love to connect with you. I am always here to help, but as always, make it a great day.